Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between what's called linear differential equations versus nonlinear. Okay, linear versus nonlinear. This topic is a little bit harder uh, for some people, so um, we'll do a lot of examples. So a DE, so a differential equation, is linear in y, you can also say linear in x or any other variable, we're going to focus on linear in y, if we can write it, so if we can write it in the form, so first I'm going to show you like the mathematical definition and then I'm going to explain it in words um, because that's how I think of it, I actually don't think of it this way, I mean I guess I do, um, let me just go ahead and write it. So basically you have a coefficient, so I'll call that a sub n of x, so a pure function of x times, say, the nth derivative of x plus, and then you would have a sub n minus 1, but I'll skip that one, all the way down to, say, the first derivative, so a sub 1 of x dy dx, again, a pure function of x, and then plus a sub 0 of x times the 0th derivative. So the 0th derivative of a function is the original function, and that should be equal to g of x. So basically, in front of y and all of its derivatives, so here's y and all of its derivatives, you only have pure functions of x. That's the first condition. So again, in front of y and all of its derivatives, you only have pure functions of x. And the second condition is that y and all of its derivatives are all to the first power. So maybe I should write that down. So one, so in front of y and its derivatives, you have only pure functions of x. So pure functs of x. Oh, also here you have to, only x here, right? Can't have a y here. So, but in front of y and all of its derivatives, you have pure functions of x. And then also y and its derivatives are all to the first power. So are all to the first power. Okay, let's do some examples right away, and we're going to do a bunch of these until um, hopefully it makes sense. So the question it says linear or nonlinear. So linear in y. We're only concerned uh, if it's linear or nonlinear in y, or is it nonlinear? Nonlinear. Okay. Uh, a. How about uh, let's see? I guess I have to make these up. How about y double prime plus e to the x times y prime plus y equals sine x. So this is a differential equation. If you watch the first video, you'll know that the order is 2 because the order is the order of the highest derivative and there's a second derivative. In this problem, we want to figure out if it's linear or nonlinear. So here we have a 1. Here we have an e to the x. Here we have a 1. So in front of y and all of its derivatives, we have pure functions of x. So that, that's the first condition. Check. And y and all of its derivatives are all to the first power. So that's the second condition, check. And then here we have a pure function of x, so check. So in this case, the answer would be linear, right, linear. Let's do another one, b. How about uh, this one, y triple prime plus 3y, y double prime plus y equals e to the x. In this case, the order is 3, just easy to talk about because the order is the order of the highest derivative. And this one would be nonlinear because of this piece right here, right? This is a function of y, and it's being multiplied by the second derivative. You cannot have that, right? You have to have only pure functions of x in front of y and its derivatives. So in this case, the answer would be nonlinear. Nonlinear. Let's do another one. C. How about something like this? x squared dy dx plus y equals 7. Okay, so in this case, uh, the order is 1 because the order is the order of the highest derivative. So we have the first derivative. 
And this one would be linear because this is a pure function of x. There's a 1 here. It's a pure function of x. And y and all of its derivatives are to the first power. So that would be linear. Let's keep going. D. How about something like this? Uh, square root dy dx plus 3y equals sine x. In this case, the order is 1 because this is the first derivative. And this one is nonlinear. And the reason is you can think of this dy dx, uh, this piece here rather, as dy dx to the 1 half power, right? Because you can write the square root as a 1 half. So that's not to the first power. So this is nonlinear, right? y and all of its derivatives all have to be to the first power. So otherwise, it's nonlinear. e y double prime plus sine y times y equals e to the x. This one would be order 2, right? Because the order is the order of the highest derivative. And it would be nonlinear because you have this function of y here in front of the y. So you can't have that, right? No good at all. So this is nonlinear. You can only have pure functions of x in front of y and all of its derivatives. One more, f. See if I have any ideas. I can't really think of anything that we haven't really done too much. Um, well, how about this? y double prime plus cosine of x plus y equals e to the x. So kind of a weird problem here, but uh, this is a differential equation. And it's order 2, because the order is the order of the highest derivative. And that's a second derivative. It's been nonlinear, right? Nonlinear. You cannot have cosine of x plus y. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, in this context, right, y and all of its derivatives have to be to the first power. It's inside a cosine function, so it's not good. Uh, that would be nonlinear. So hopefully this video made sense, and just keep in mind, it's linear if y and all of its derivatives appear to the first power, and in front of y and all of its derivatives, you have to have uh, pure functions of x. And on the right-hand side, you should always have a pure function of x. I hope that helped.